it's a massive machine, but it's, it's a real piece of precision engineering too. From the moment we launched the kit to make the first internal module, right through to the engine being dispatched, it's 20 days. The fan blade delivers 75% of the engine's thrust. It shifts about 1.2 tonnes of air per second when it's at full throttle. After about 30 seconds, you've got to come away. You can't stand there too long. If you do, you just start burning. Every bit of this is all put together by hand. We used to fit a bolt that was wrong. The aircraft was to come down. We run thousands of hours of testing. An explosive detonation releases the blade from the disc at max takeoff speed and fires it into the fan case. The engine is destroyed. Derby is Rolls Royce. You mentioned Derby, everybody says Rolls Royce. These are better welded than I am, better classical than I am. They don't need my voice. Morning. That's the inspection department, very friendly people there. It's a very tough competition with one of the most powerful and uh, competitive companies in the world in General Electric. It's not until you see Trent Fleet fly over. Ah, I've made my own bit of that. Today, we you know we're the lead, we're the most efficient engine flying in the world. This is the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. Cast 35 crossway 11200 to the end ramp. Designed to be the most fuel efficient jumbo jet ever, it's touted as the future of air travel. Even in sort of a grey Seattle day, that paint job is beautiful. After years in development, the plane is finally ready for its very first flight. The weather's atrocious, but it's a make or break moment for Boeing's first new airliner in 10 years. You know, our plane is taxiing, and so we're proceeding inbound. I'm switching to. And no one's more gripped than these engineers watching live over the web in Derby. Because they have designed and built the plane's groundbreaking jet engines using technology that'll save each plane three million pounds a year in fuel. If the flight goes according to plan, Rolls-Royce could find themselves building the greenest, cleanest engine for many of the world's airlines and securing orders in a highly competitive industry. The engine includes some of the most advanced aviation technology the world has ever seen. This is the story of how a British company leads the world in building the most advanced jumbo jet engines and of the people who build them. Rolls-Royce jet engines are built at state-of-the-art factories all over the UK. It's a huge operation, with orders worth over £40 billion in civil aviation alone and employing around 11,000 people building them. A new engine must roll off the production line every 36 hours. Morning, Kev. Oh, this week it's my turn, but well, I tend to be more times in a suit than not. Wow, actually, I could have been building one of these in a, maybe a few months or designing one of them. Maybe, maybe one day. There you go. That's it. Look at that beauty. It's a work of art. Rolls-Royce's main assembly plant is a vast 300-acre complex of factory buildings in the southwest corner of Derby. The city has been home to Rolls-Royce for 100 years. And for many of the 250,000 people who live here, the company is a way of life, in work and play. About 12 years ago, uh, I joined the, the Rolls-Royce Ladies' Choir. Start spreading the news. We rehearse every week on a Monday evening at the Rolls-Royce Leisure Association. It's a real enjoyable evening. Uh, after a day at work.
For many of those who work at the company, Rolls-Royce and Derby go back a very long way. I was born and bred in Derby, so I've been in Derby 53 years. I've been at Royce's 36 years. It's like a family business as well, because my wife works at Rolls-Royce. <laughs> Rolls-Royce, I'm unemployed, you know, so it means a lot to us. Oh, it means a lot to Derby, full stop, really. You look up to Rolls-Royce, I bet there's not anybody really that doesn't know somebody that works at Rolls-Royce. 40 years since I was uh, 18 I joined Royce's. I actually worked on um, Spitwire, an railing engine. The choir's been in existence for 50 years. We celebrated the 50 years last year and had a big concert to celebrate that. Fifty years and nearly six months. <laughs> they, they sang at my wedding, and which was very nice. And I came back with my daughter when she was 11 days old, and she sat in a pram and rocked all the while, while we were <laughs> for months. And months. <laughs> Derby is Rolls Royce. We've got lots of other engineering companies, but you mentioned Derby, everybody says Rolls Royce. The company used to be most famous for its luxury cars, but that all ended in the early 70s. Today, Rolls Royce cars are actually made by BMW. The company's real heritage is aircraft engines. In fact, they've powered some of the world's most iconic aircraft, from Second World War fighter planes and the Harrier jump jet to the much-loved Concorde. And that heritage continues today, powering helicopters, business and military jets, and even ships. But the star product is the pioneering family of Trent jet engines including the newest Trent 1000 for the Boeing Dreamliner. All the Trent engines are designed for jumbo-style wide-bodied airliners, like Boeing 777 and the famous Airbus Super Jumbo. But this engine for the Airbus 330 is the biggest seller of all. In 15 years, the Trent 700 has clocked up 13 million flying hours. It's a massive machine, but it's, it's a real piece of precision engineering too. Weighing at least five tons, each Trent engine is worth several times its weight in silver. Only two companies in the world are capable of building engines this good. It's a very tough competition between one of the most powerful and uh, competitive companies in the world in General Electric. And if you look at all the latest new technology aircraft, all have selected Rolls-Royce engines to power the first flight. It carries a payload of 242 tonnes at 37,000 feet for 9,500 miles, which, as you can imagine, is a serious challenge for any technology to deliver. So it really is at the high end of manufacturing and assembly. And I often describe what we do as producing things of beauty. But the popularity of the Trent 700 is also the factory's biggest challenge. With orders placed to build 400 new engines, the company has to produce at least four a week. For their production line, one of the most complex in the world, time is big money. Each Trent engine is built from modules, eight separate sections which are put together on the assembly line 